Think they want more? Then let's give it to them. Check out this office. Don't worry, I'll pass your gratitude on to those who made it happen. They'll be pleased to know you think so highly of their work. You used an innocent cop to do your dirty work. I know how you've been using the drugs you stole at the docks. Where are they? Is this about Falcone? We all saw how you felt about Falcone. Impaling a man on live TV. If you were truly the defender of this city, you'd have finished the job yourself. Falcone deserved to die. Vermin like Falcone, they deserve to be stomped out. Believe me, I know. You don't decide who lives and who dies. That's not justice. But it's bloody well satisfying, isn't it? As a show of good faith, I'm gonna let this one go. How's about we talk this through? We helped you with Falcone. Now, if we could just cut out the rest of the rot, like Wayne and Hill, ordinary folks might be able to breathe. What is it about this place that attracts criminal scum like you? What does Bruce Wayne have to do with this? Pretty boy's got himself a fat bank account, thanks to his parents. Only problem is, they took that money from people that couldn't fight back. Here's the thing, I actually admire you, Batman. We both want the same kinds of things. Me and my people, we've got big plans for Gotham. They found Catwoman. What do you want with her? We had a deal. She didn't make good on it. So sorry this didn't work out, mate. I'd stay to watch. I would, but I still got a Catwoman problem to deal with. Oh, what's her name again? Selena. Yes! Oh, beautiful name! <laughs> Gonna have to try harder than this. <laughs> 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 
Track down Selena Kyle. I'll find her right away. You lost? Because I don't have time for tourists. Looks like you walked into the wrong bar. Do you know Selena Kyle? There are men after her. Uh-huh. When aren't there? Well, these ones are trying to kill her. Hey. Don't I know you? It is you. Knew it. Cops take all your fancy clothes? <laughs> are you trying to lay low? Of course, you're not really the low-lying type. Nice to meet you. Uh, Frank. Yeah. Funny seeing you here. So much in the papers. Whole other thing, meeting the man in real life. You're shorter than I thought you would be. Leave him alone, Frank. Man's just trying to have a quiet drink. He didn't seem to mind the company. Whatever. Selena, I need to tell you something important. Better be an apology. You were supposed to take care of our mutual problem. Instead, you just pissed him off. Well, I've met a couple of his goons myself. Your client isn't one for subtlety. The man who hired you, his name is Oswald Cobblepot. Never heard of him. He goes by Penguin. Penguin? Shit. Ugh, you've got to be kidding me. You should have just killed me on that rooftop. I'm dead anyway. When you screw someone over, you really screw them. The penguin. <laughs> it's not my fault that you're in the Selena, but I can help you out of it. Tell me what you know about Penguin. I only know him by reputation. I'm surprised you never heard of him. He's a big deal across the pond. He's more dangerous than you think. I grew up with Oz. He's the first real friend I ever had. I'm not surprised. Questionable morals and a penchant for theatrics? You two have a lot in common. The question is, why Gotham? Why now? It's not like he's hurting for crime syndicates abroad. Why leave that? He thinks he's changing the world for the better, no matter the cost. Well, he's no Joan of Arc, that's for sure. Well, I'm not sticking around here to find out. Oswald, Penguin is about to unleash God knows what on the city. You can't just leave. A good reason not to be here when he does. You want to stay? That's your choice. Whatever Penguin is planning, innocent people will end up in the line of fire. Innocence, not me. Bruce. Sweetie, the gallant knight thing, it really is adorable. But what would Harvey think? 
The two of us working together. After all, I'm not really an all work and no play kind of girl. Harvey knows that. I'm sorry, why, why are we talking about Harvey? He's your friend, isn't he? Just seeing how much of a conscience you really have. You and I... Well, Bruce, you were right. Selena Kyle, Penguin says hello. Beat it. We're here for her. If you care about your own skin, you'll get the hell out. Let's give it to him. Good. For such a pretty boy. Come on, this way! should go. I'll take the rooftops. You take the alley. Wait. Yes or no, will you help me stop Penguin? I'm gonna say maybe, but only because he's trying to kill me. 
Pretty good reason to say yes. You shouldn't trust me, you know. Alfred, I'm uploading the contents of a smartphone to the back computer. Check to see if there's anything on the phone we can use. I'm processing it now. Is everything all right? There are quite a few police cars convening on your location. It's fine. Has the back computer found anything yet? Bruce, there are a number of messages here. All from Mayor Hill. Mayor Hill? Uh, the last voicemail is his. Listen to this. I gave you everything I have on Wayne. I've held up my end of the bargain, and I expect you to do the same. This is very shady indeed. Whatever they're talking about, it doesn't sound good. Hill is setting me up. Penguin's gonna take a shot at me. If Hill's talking to Penguin, he must know something. It's time I paid him a visit. I agree. The mayor must have answers, but if I may offer a word of advice, the whole world was horrified at what Batman did to Falcone. You terrorized the mayor too. You could lose Gotham's goodwill completely. Then again, Batman's methods would certainly get him talking immediately. Bruce would have to depend on his guile to loosen Hill's lips. This Bruce is the smart choice. Sorry, the mayor's busy. Do you have an appointment? Uh, the mayor's doing debate prep. He really can't be disturbed right now. You're really telling me that Bruce Wayne needs an appointment? But the mayor- Will be fine. And if he fires, he'd just come to work for me. Deal? Bruce Wayne? Finally, you've come to see me. Of course, only after your name's been dragged through the mud. Don't get me wrong, I'm glad to see you. But you're a day late and a great many dollars short. This isn't a social call, Hill. I'm here for answers. Well, well, straight to business. And I was going to have Deborah make you a martini. Your father and I, we took this city and made it ours. Falcone too, rest his soul. We built everything we have. You were born with it. A soft boy like you wouldn't understand what it takes to rise to the top. Oh, I understand. Very well. I gave you everything I have on Wayne. I've held up my end of the bargain, and I expect you to do the same. Sounds like me. It is you. So? What's your point? I take it you have one. Or are you just fond of my dulcet tones? I'm here as a friend. This can disappear. Oh, let me guess. There's a fee. The fee is full disclosure on your partners. Partners? I want nothing to do with it. I'm in Cobblepot's crosshairs, same as you. But you fed them dirt on me. Only the files I seized from Wayne Manor. Your father, Falcone, and I, we had ways of getting anything we wanted. How do you think your family got the land for Wayne Tower? Cobblepot wants retribution because we took his family's land. Oswald's family signed it over to us, along with the rest of their assets. Even if that's true, it's no excuse for Cobblepot's crimes. I quite agree. It doesn't hurt to understand your enemy's motives. There's so much more I could share, if only we were friends. I could help you deal with Penguin, let you in on some family history. But I'm caught in a dogfight for my political career and my rival has bottomless pockets. 
Now, if that rival were to say, drop out, or his advertising spend were to dry up, I might have a lot more resources for helping a new friend. Fine. That's what it takes to earn your friendship. I knew you'd see the light. It's time we really talked. Power is an old oak. The trunk stands strong, but it's the roots that hold it up. And the thickest of them lead to Arkham. Arkham Asylum? Your father, me, Falcone, we used it to get our enemies out of the way. Drugged and declared them insane. It made it easy to take their things. Thomas was the doctor. I leveraged my political power to ease the transfer of assets. Falcone was the muscle. He had his own way of making problems go away. So that's what Oz wants to punish me for? His mother was one of our last patients. You can hardly expect him to think rationally. Gotham was chaos before we took control. At least now there's a semblance of order. Listen, Bruce. Now that we're back on the same side, your father's last gift to me. They're yours. The keys to the city. Thank you. Hamilton. Call me Hamilton. Penguin's gathered quite a few victims to his crusade. But that's a problem for another day. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to prep for the debate. My door is always open, Bruce. Next time, make an appointment. Stay away from the debate. It's not safe. <laughs> Miss my chance to humiliate Dent. It'll take more than Cobblepot to keep me away. Alfred, get a warning to Gordon. Tell him to increase security of the debate. Hill seems to think he's safe, but Penguin's still out there. else is on here. As per your request, Lieutenant Gordon has tripled security at the debate. Thanks, Alfred. It's a plan of the old Monarch Theater. The auditorium where the debate's being held. Hmm. I hacked into the image feeds from the security cameras at the auditorium. Just to be safe. Just to be safe. Hells, details about your father. They must have been quite upsetting. I can't imagine how you must feel. To learn so much in so little time. To be honest, Alfred, nothing can shock me anymore. Uh, when it comes to my parents. I wish I felt the same way. But I suppose no good can come from wallowing. The city needs you now more than ever. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll leave you to it then. The images on these cameras haven't changed. Something's wrong. Penguin's men may have commandeered the cameras on their end. We could just be looking at... What they want us to see. Warn Gordon that he may have visitors. I have to get down there. Now.
Harvey needs to get out of there. Hey, Bruce. Man, I'm glad you called. I needed to talk to you, actually. Something's come up. Something that's... well, it's not exactly... Harvey, listen to me. Stay away from the debate. What? No, Bruce, I I'm already here. Kinda crazy. Security's on high alert because of this threat from some guy named Penguin. They have me in some back room until the debate begins. For my own protection, they said. A little bit of a kill, if you ask me. Uh, look. Bruce, I didn't want to do this over the phone, but... My advisors are telling me that I need to... <clears throat> that I need to distance myself from you. Until all this mess with your family blows over. They're afraid it's... I, I don't care, Harvey. You need to get out of there. I can't leave now. I mean, think of the message that would send to the voters. Bruce, I'm ahead in the polls. A win tonight, and I could take the election. And what with the allegations in the press, and now this mess with Falcone, you're a liability. But here's the thing, Bruce. Without your money... I am dead in the water. I know this is a delicate topic, but I need you to keep me afloat. I may have to trash you in public, but you and me, we'll know the truth about our friendship. Forget your campaign for a minute. The money won't matter if you're dead. Yeah, well, until I am, it is still my primary concern. Listen, I hate to push you, but I... I need to know. Can I count on your money, Bruce? Whatever it takes to save Gotham, that's what we wanted. I'll always support you, Harvey. Oh, thank you, Bruce. Thank you. You don't know how much this means to me. To Gotham. I'm sorry, Bruce. The makeup person is here. <laughs> I guess she needs to put on my face. I hope you can still watch the debate somewhere. Uh, no matter what I have to say tonight, remember... You are always my friend. Quiet so far. I've got a feeling that's about to change. Just so we're clear, you and me, we're on shaky ground. Jim, listen. No, listen to me. The excessive violence, it, it can't go on. Most of the GCPD already think you're a monster. Don't prove them right. You're lucky I'm on your side. That may be true, but I can't ally with a violent thug. We have bigger things to worry about right now. Your security has been compromised. I've got patrols on every door. You better check on them. I'd keep that holstered if I were you. What's she doing here? She was part of that robbery at the mayor's office. Really? You're gonna drag out that dead horse? We're all on the same side, Jim. Well, this better not come back to bite me. Alpha Patrol, come in. That, um incident in the bar. Dead is its own kind of cage. I can't stand being in it. Not that I needed your help or anything, but you had my back. I thought I'd repay the favor. You know, like you scratch my back, I cut some people up. Doing the right thing? Maybe there's hope for you yet. Don't read too much into it. I'm just allergic to owing you anything. None of my men on the ground are responding. Enough waiting. We're going in. Alpha, do you read? Now aren't you glad I'm here? Now you have a better shot than my SWAT team of getting in there quietly. We are seriously underfunded at the GCPD. Sounds like a vote for Dent, Lieutenant.
Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our live debate for the next mayor of Gotham City. This is an important debate for these two candidates, incumbent Mayor Hamilton Hill and the challenger Gotham District Attorney Harvey Dent. And it's also important for you, the citizens of Gotham, who will soon head to the polls to decide the future of your home, a city that's faced its share of hardships in recent years. Rising crime rates, income inequality, and yes, a masked vigilante loose on our streets. Candidates will tackle it all. At least we know why they weren't responding. Gordon, we found one of your patrols. They've been terminated. Oh, those goddamn sons of- Sorry, ladies and gents. As you might have guessed, there's been a change to tonight's program. First order of business... Firing the moderator! I hate to be a downer, but these hostages... I don't like their chances. Oh, they just didn't have a head for the issues. If we're quick and decisive, no one else has to die. If you say so. But Penguin's playing for keeps. Fanatics always do. <gasps> You'll do. Get out here. Keep it quiet back there. These guys are armed to the teeth. Uh, we need a new moderator. Come on, you. You there. Yes. You. Thank you for Wait. volunteering. Please. No. Go on, then. Introduce the candidates. Stage fright, huh? All right. I'll get you started. But this is your show. Three hostiles. Got to take them out quietly. Down. Make for the police line. And now, a word from our sponsor. My downtown brothers and sisters of Gotham, you have nothing to fear. We are the children of Arkham. We are here to end the masquerade and expose the corruption that ruined your city. For too long, Men like your esteemed mayor have profited from the pain of innocence. We knew this was too big for Oswald alone. Someone else is pulling the strings. Smart. Let someone else do the dirty work. Look into the heart of the 
gods of this finest treasures. Go on, love. You know what to do. Ah! Make an entrance. Batman! 
The revolution's already started! It's too late to join! <laughs> Your revolution is over, Penguin. On the contrary, we're just getting started! City Hall is in chaos after Mayor Hamilton Hill was confirmed dead. While several members of the Children of Arkham have been arrested, the Penguin is still at large. family scandal continued to escalate after the full list of Thomas Wayne's victims was released to the public. Mr. Wayne? Lieutenant. He's lucky. Could have been much worse if the Batman hadn't been there. But there still will be scars. Go for. Lawyers representing Bruce Wayne have no comment at this time. We are the children of Arkham, and we have opened your eyes.
next time on Batman, the Telltale series. Batman saved me, but I know this isn't over. Who are these people, Bruce? Authorities are scrambling. The so-called children of Arkham have the city in a frenzy, but there's still no sign of their masked leader. With Hill and Falcone dead by their hands, the question on everyone's lips is, who's next? After that news about your father sending innocent people to Arkham, sounds like the whole city wants your head on a pike. The Waynes have always run this company, but now... They want to decide what your future at this company will be. Do you really think Bruce Wayne is worth protecting? What do you want from me? You know what I want. No more hiding! Not for anyone. But don't worry. Bruce Wayne's finally gonna get what's coming to him. Bruce! Bruce!